to majesty's house of music now this is a lesson on the key of g so we are going to be breaking down uh, uh the hymn jesus i trust you uh, or for those who use the swahili version yesu yesu na kwamini so we are going to be breaking down chord changes as you see i've been using an electric piano voice okay so I'm not using a grand piano voice today, I'm using an electric piano voice. And that is just to, to help you widen your chords and uh, think outside the box. As you see, I changed the progressions here and there. So I'm going to be breaking down some of the things I've been doing. Uh, if you want to learn more about Kiji, uh, these weird chord changes and some uh, movements uh, make sure you check the links below you'll find our two courses on the key of G an advanced one and uh, an intermediate one so make sure you check them check the content and uh, see how they are going to help you uh, but for now let me break down what I did okay uh, this is just to help you be creative you don't have to copy the exact way I played the song okay so you, this is just to help you think outside the box. So first chord. So this is the verse. Okay. So and as you can see, I've always been keeping my melody line at the top. So that's G, D, A, and B. I usually play this extension on my left hand. If you can't play that G, A, B, then D, G, B on your right hand. There. D, F, A, C, F, A. Then. So I have to, these two calls on my G. D, G, D, F on my left hand. Then I have A, C, E, G, okay? You could even ignore the D on your left hand so that you have G, F, then A, C, E, G. Then drop the A to the A flat and drop the C to the E so that you have this. Okay, is this, drop the first two notes. Okay, so... the the four chord C D E G B E so then you invert it C G B E invert it B E G so B D 
then GBD. You could even play that JBD. Then back to the one. So that's GD, then ABDG. Three. So B, E flat, A, then D, G, B. Then my sixth chord, E, A, B, then D, E, F sharp, A, and D, okay? Changes to that chord. So, so E, A flat, B, then you have D, F sharp, A flat, B, and D. Then you, you just end the chord on the B. So, okay. Okay. That's the two. To the two. A, G, then C, E, A. Then, add that. A, C sharp, G. B, E, G. Then the five chord. D, G, A, C, E, A. Okay? So... from the five the seven so f sharp e a b e a flat b okay yeah da, da. so that's b e flat a then c f a the six so na, 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 e g a b d g okay so na, seven three six then that chord g f then a flat b e g you repeat the same thing i think c e c d e g b e it's the same thing as the first. Okay? B, D, G, A, B, D. Then to the six. E, G, A, B, D, G. Then E, A flat, B, D, F, A flat, B. Then to the two. A, E, then G, B, C, E. Then I use this. So E flat, A, C, F, A, okay? To the five. D, G, A, then C, E, G. Then to the D dominant seven. D, F sharp, A, C, F sharp, okay? Finish on the one. G, D, A, B, Okay, so the whole of the verse looks like uh, inverted. Let's see to the chorus. So G D A 
AB, then DGB. Three chord, E flat, A, then DGBD. So start with this chord. E, A flat, B, D, F, A flat, B, D. Then just end it on the B for the second time. So, okay. Then I did this. I just played a two chord. So A, G, C, E, A. Then I did this. And to the flat five or the sharp four. C sharp, F, then B, E, G. Then this. Again, the three chord. The seven chord, I mean. F sharp, E, A, B, E, A flat, B. So B, E flat, A, C, F, A. Okay, then to the six. So, so start with that. E, G, A, B, then D, G, B. Extend to the D, okay? Then to the three. B, F sharp, A. So D, E, F sharp, A. Okay, then so that's E A flat B D F A flat B. That chord E flat A C F A. There, okay, so that. D, G, B, E, G. Then that chord. Okay? Okay, or you could play that. So C sharp F, B, E, A. Okay? So... to the seven chord or so e a flat a c sharp then e a flat b Na, ra, or so e flat a c f a Na, ra, six e a b d g Na, then this one chord G, D, then F, B, D. Then to the 4. So C, E, G, C, then D, E, G, C. Then that chord, B, D, G, A, D. Okay. No. So no. E, G, B, D, G. That diminished chord, I've done this chord so many times. E, A flat, B, D, F, A flat, B. Okay. A, E, G, C, E. Then, repeat this same chords again. E flat, A, C, F, A, or you could use that as well. C sharp, F sharp, A, or another chord you could use is Okay, C sharp F A. So you could use this or this or this. D G A C E G. Finish. D F sharp A C F sharp. Finish your thing. So that should be your one. They had nine. G D A B D G. 
So the chorus no. got those chords correct and at the end i was doing something like uh, so five one over five dg a b d g that chord e flat f a c e flat f sharp then E G B D G, then the same uh, uh, seven chord we've been using. I've taught this drop in my full course. Then you continue. are pretty much the chord changes uh i've been breaking down some of the movements uh maybe if you thought i was moving too fast uh, make a point of looking at our courses uh we have we have an intermediate one and an advanced one so we have even demonstration songs like this one okay so this uh, i was just breaking this because of the uh the sense of time uh, but uh, in the DVD, you have three hours or even more, okay? Three hours of breaking down all this stuff that we do. Uh, so check out the two courses, depending on where you are as a keyboard player. Uh, so you have the advanced and the intermediate, so check them out. Uh, make sure you can play fluently in the key of G. It's good as a keyboard player to play in all keys. We, it's not just the key G course, we have many other courses, the F sharp, C sharp, C, we have so many courses, so make sure you ch check our website, okay? Uh, you can download the practice track from down here, and remember to subscribe if you haven't, and yeah, that's it for the lesson, I'll see you in the next one. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Now there are just a few things I'd like you to do to help us spread this word and support us. The first thing is to go ahead and hit the like button below this video. Just go ahead and hit the like button. And the second thing you can do is to share this uh, video on our social media platforms, on Facebook, on Twitter. Just go ahead and hit the share button so that we help us to spread this message so that more people can get access to these lessons. And the third thing is that if you have been watching my lessons and you're not subscribed to my channel, please just go right ahead right now now, log into Google with your Gmail, okay? With your Gmail, your email address, log into uh, YouTube, and then hit the subscribe button so that you'll always be notified when I release new classes. And then the last thing you can do is to visit our website, majestieshouseofmusic.com, then click on the piano video courses, and you'll see a list of several longer detailed courses where I go much deeper into uh, these concepts, okay? So if you visit our website, you can order those courses there online. If you have a PayPal account, if you don't have a PayPal account, you can just send me an email or a WhatsApp message, and then we can communicate on how you can order the courses and how I'll deliver them to you as downloadable files. I'll simply send to you a link and you can download the course that you are interested in. So thank you for following this channel and God bless you. See you in the next class.